Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today, me and my group members will explain about custom is authoritative. Also, we call as adat muhakamah. Uh, uh, my group, uh, the group member is me, Muhammad Nur Efan bin Rizal, Muhammad Azizi bin Abdullah, Muhammad Faris bin Fauzi, Muhammad Rizwan bin Azhar, also Muhammad Amar Nakib bin Abu Bakar. Okay, the first one I want to talk about is about introduction of uh, custom is authoritative or adat muhakamah. Uh, the first one is uh, custom play an important role in the formation of Islamic law. Uh, this is because uh, custom uh, influence and affect the Islamic law. Uh, next is curtain. Islamic law will change in response to change in circumstances such as place, time, traditional, tradition, and human behavior. Uh, as a result of this action, uh, uh, this changeable laws will be applied and implied differently uh, uh, based on the place and the time, also the tradition uh, of the place. Next is the they are curtain law in Islamic jurisprudence also cannot be changed and altered. Uh, this is because the law is considered as permanent and suitable for use uh, for use uh, for all place and time uh, regardless of uh, in ev every place and area. So there is no need or important to change the law. The next is. Custom is authoritative, ada uh, muhakamah, is also the one of the five most important Islamic legal maxims. And it affirms the importance of tradition in Islamic law as a search of authority for curtain sharia uh, ruling. Uh, ada muhakamah uh, also always be used widely and applied in muamalat. Uh, so, uh, the next is the concept of al ada and al uruf are closely related and used in ada muhakama. Uh, ada and uruf are usually used to describe habit. Uh, habit means the thing we also uh, do uh, every day and every time. Ada is something that is often done by a person as well as necessity of life. Uh, ada is also habit uh, like this uh, meaning. Uh, so. Uh, ada is the thing that we often do, uh, which means uh, it's a become a habit. Uh, the next one is uh, ada makes the matter difficult to separate in daily life, and it can cause a great inconvenience if we uh, is if the ada take from uh, daily life. Uh, so, ada and uruf or ada muhakamah is uh, relevant because custom and standard practice of one people may different from another people, and even the custom of a particular people could change over time. So, uh, custom uh, play the uh, uh, important role in our life to. To to make sure that we apa to make sure that Islamic law is uh, compatible with the custom. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Azizi. I want to present about the definition of ada muhakamah. Uh, Al ada muhakamah is the fifth method of the main rule of fiqh. Uh, the Definition of Adam Mahkamah is taken from the Arabic word that is al out or al muawadah means repetition. Okay, next definition of al adah. Uh, there are two definitions for al adah. The first, according to Sheikh Ahmad Al Zarqa. Uh, Al adah is an expression of what is hidden in human being uh, and uh, repetitive things that is usually accepted by healthy temperament.
Uh, the second, according to Al Jurjani, Al Adah is an action or word that is continuously performed uh, by human because it is accepted by the intellect and human repeat it uh, continuously. Okay, the next slide definition of uruf. Uh, generally, uruf has the same meaning as al adah, even even the even the different word. Uh, the word uruf come from the Arabic, uh, that's uh, arafa, which means to know or recognize. Al uruf also means uh, human word, word and deeds that are constantly repeat so as to make it happen in general. For example, uh, buying and Buying and selling without consent, uh, without uh, word ijab and khabul. Uh, this matter become uruf as long as it's not uh, contrary to Islamic Sharia. Next, advanced definition. Uh, these two word have the same meaning as long as it does not violate uh, Islamic Sharia. Okay, next, this slide show uh, resources from Al-Quran about Adah Muhagama. Okay, next is conditions and pillars of the method of Al-Adah Muhagama. The pillars of the method, Al-Adah is the first pillar. Al-Adah is anything that happens continuously in society. And Al-Adah must also have two main pillars, which are consistent application and the majority community can accept such activities. Next, the second pillar is Muhakamah. Muhakamah is the interpretation of a law, but something is subjected to societal custom. However, there are circumstances in the process of creating the law like the implementation of the court norms al ada that must be met before al uruf can be utilized as a basis for inference. Okay, next is conditions of the method. First, al ada is formed and practiced under the following conditions. First is mass communities recognize their custom and mass areas of society are aware of it even though there are a few tiny groups that do not observe it but respect it. Next is occurs in general. It does not affect specific group but it affects the entire Muslim community. Secondly, the following are the requirements for making rules the basis of law. A. Must fulfill the above mentioned requirement and principle. B. In accordance with the evidence of the Al-Quran and Hadith, there must be an occurrence for the norm to apply. C. A punishable act must be connected to the unruf and societal habit that exists and has flourished. That's all from me. Thank you. Ya, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Faris bin Fauzi. Today, I will present about the role of in Sharia law. Okay. There are four methods in Islam to determine the law, which are Al-Quran, Hadith, al jamaah and Al-Qiyas. Okay. At the, at the start, Uruf also can be used to determine the law, but not all of the Uruf. Is. Uruf can be used to determine law, but it will not cease by his argument. It will see uh, by his authority, how much his authority as the main source to determine the law. Okay, Uruf has been divided into three categories, which is verbal and Uruf, general and specific Uruf, and then valid in and unvalid Uruf. Okay. Verbal and practical Uruf, as we know, verbal. Verbal means what the usually word that the people talking and the people talking. And then practical, practical Uruf was the action, which is the people accustomed with that. An example of this Uruf was buy and sell, which is, uh, in a buy and sell, there, uh, uh, there are two things which is verbal and practical like the seller will will say that about will say that okay I sell this to you and then the buyer will, will say okay I buy the, I buy this which and then they talk but at the same time they practical which is 
their verb, their like their action between the sellers and the buyer to get the product. Okay, there are the point of the roof. Okay, second was general and specific roof. Okay, general roof for uh, mostly the people use it around the world regardless times and places. And the specific roof uh, was the roof that have been practices. In the certain people at the certain place. Okay, there are different between general and specific room. Is uh, an example of general, which is we can know that um, sale contract, sale contract among the world uses, which is uh, contract sale, not just in Malaysia but also the around the world use a sale contract. And specific room, example of specific room was amount of dory, as we know. Uh, amount of dory in every state at Malaysia have their own amount which is uh, the amount is not same in every state in Malaysia okay third was valid and unvalid roof okay valid and unvalid roof was the valid roof was the roof that follow the Sharia rules and the unvalid roof was the roof that do not follow the Sharia rules an example, we see that uh, value uruf was an example. The value uruf is the system banking system according Sharia law, which is uh, the bank does not have uh, does not have practice a riba practice a riba. That was the value uruf, and if the value uruf was the banking system that uses the riba, which as we know riba was prohibited in Sharia law, which is we cannot use term of riba in banking system. So that's why we call valid and unvalid rules, which is valid for the Sharia rules, and then unvalid do not follow the Sharia rules. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Rizami Azhar, and today I am going to explain about the importance of adat muhakamah in our daily lives. Okay, first is Uruf in Muamalat. Muamalat is one of the areas in Sharak that is emphasized in the Quran. Many verses of the Quran and Hadith by Prophet Muhammad SAW talk about the Uruf in Muamalat. However, there are also certain problems in the Uruf that require the, to utilize other sources or uh, require to utilize other sources of law such as uh, Istihad, Kias, Uruf, Masalih Mursalah and others uh, in determining the laws. Uh, now I am going to tell you the example of Uruf in, or effects of Uruf in Mamalan. First is al qabdu al qabdu means receiving goods. In the sale of uh, in the sale of in the sale and purchase uh, is done based on Uruf and custom. For example, jewelry is received by holding it and real estate is uh, received by possessing it or change of name in grant. Uh, this means that the only acceptable way in custom uh, or uruf, for example, jewelry received is only by holding it physically. It cannot be done any other way. Okay, next I am going to tell you uh, the second example. Uh, in the, the second example is the matter of tafaruk separation in Khyar Majlis which is uh, the seller and the buyer has the right to cancel the transaction as long as they do not separate and still in the council of Akkad. Uh, in this matter, the scholars back the meaning of parting on Uruf. Uh, this means that the only acceptable way in custom for separation in Hiyah Majlis is as long as the seller and the buyer, uh, they do not separate, they, they means they still stay in one place and they stay in the council of Akkad. For the third example, the daman or guarantee, uh, guarantees to be paid based on a local currency. Uh, this means that, uh, for example, if something happens in Malaysia, then the only acceptable way for guarantee to be paid based on custom is using a ringgit currency. Okay, finally, I am going to tell you the conclusion of Adat Muhammad. Adat Muhammad plays a big role in our daily lives. Uh, it is also an important source of law. The strength is proven in the arguments of Al-Quran, Sunnah and Ijma. However, Uruf cannot be applied absolutely. In fact, there are certain conditions 
where where the uh, uruf must exist to make the use of law. Therefore, uruf leaves a big impact in the muamalat world in the chapter of sale, wakala, ijarah, and so on. That's it from me and my teammates about adat muamalat.